Then we had a conference call one time, uh, a hearing which was set up as a conference call. It was supposed to be with myself, since I represent myself, then with Inova's attorney. And interestingly enough, what happened is, uh, no, not really when I called in, not really would her assistant, who she personally picked to work in her chambers, it was her assistant who kind of gave me some hints as to what was going on and what to look for. And she also essentially forced Zenith's hand by uh, unraveling the hoax because um, she also went ahead and added MedStar's lawyer to the conference call. See, Zinus and Schwann was, was making it appear that the case is only between myself and Inova, and MedStar had no connection to it. But since uh, legally on the computer file, MedStar was connected to the case, I mean, MedStar was added as an intervener, um, um, this assistant, she went ahead and she brought on uh, met Star's attorney also into the conference call and that really gave me more hints and it really put Zinus on the spot and Zinus and these toyer and these two lawyers um, they were running a big hoax uh, on the conference call Zinus was uh, acting like she doesn't know anything about what's going on she doesn't know who met star is she she doesn't know how they got on the case she says, I guess it's some office error, and she says, you know, she's going to order that MedStar is taken off the case. And of course, she never did because she cannot do it because it, it wasn't any office error. It was a crime. But they kind of, so they sat on this call and they conducted a big hoax. And Zinus acted ignorant and stupid. Now, Zinus is very smart. You know, she's a UVA graduate, and then she's a Yale Law School graduate. But the trick she does is, when she gets caught with something, she, she immediately acts dumb. And then I found out the same kind of, and so, so, and so she acted dumb. She act, you know, she acted like she doesn't know what's going on and why MedStar is on the case, you know, acting dumb. And then I found out that during her confirmation hearing, uh, under, under questioning from Senator Sessions, who is the, 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 the current Attorney General, um, he asked Zinus a question about, because there was an issue, some cops had brought the issue that she's anti-cop. So, uh, and Senator Sessions asked Judge Zinus about the broken windows theory. See, the broken windows theory basically... It's now a lot of cops kind of I guess they misapply it because the broken windows theory really worked good in New York City and the New York subways. It was you know you go after the small crimes and then you end up preventing even bigger crimes. So but that kind of stuff really worked poorly like in the New York subway and, and in New York City. But in anyway, but the broken windows theory, even though it's kind of wrong to be applied everywhere, uh, it's an accepted theory. You know, it's a well as accepted theory. So what it means is when a police officer, uh, when he takes some action and he claims the broken windows theory, so and and then Zinus used to be a a a, a hearings officer. Um, so she was standing in judgment of cops who were accused of mis misconduct in Washington, D.C. by the Metropolitan Police. So she would take cases like where, you know, someone was accused by the cops of loitering and being too loud and the cops, you know, taking action against them, arresting them, you know, for what seems to be like a small violation and you know someone can say well it's not any big deal someone is loitering and someone is being loud and but the cop had a right to claim as a defense the broken windows theory so 
And what Judge Zinnis would do, and, but Judge Zinnis never gave the cops consideration of that theory. So when Senator Sessions asked Judge Zinnis uh, about the broken windows theory, uh, Paula Zinnis said she never heard of the theory, and she's such a liar. So because she's so intelligent and she knows all these things, there's no way she did not know this simple theory. And this is kind of goes again, she acts dumb. See, when Paula Zinnis gets caught with something, she acts dumb. See, she deliberately wanted, see, she wanted to rule against the cops on every single occasion so her lawyer friends can sue the cops for a lot of money. So, so when she did that, um, she had to ignore some rights that the cops had and the cops had a right to claim the broken windows theory even though it really did apply in front of a 7-eleven in dc uh, as it applies in the new york subway but they had a right to claim it because that exists and she didn't want to extend that right to them and so when the so so here, and, and, and that's how she ruled against the cops in many cases, without taking into account that broken windows theory. And so, 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 so when confronted by Senator Sessions, you know, asking Paula Zinnis, why didn't you take this theory into account? And if you had done so, uh, you would have found that the cop did nothing wrong. And then she says, you know, she does, you know, as I said, she acts dumb and she says she never heard of it. And I guess Senator Sessions goes forward claiming that Paula Zinnis is uh, unqualified for not knowing about this basic theory. But Senator Sessions didn't get it that she knows this very well and it's much worse. Uh, Zinnis, it's not that she doesn't know about this theory. She acts dumb. She acts dumb to get out of a bind.